I cannot thank you enough for spending your Wednesday with me, where we're going to talk all about various words of the week. Which five words of the week are we going to cover this evening? You'll find out in just a second, after we talk about what we're going to be doing this evening. So, without further ado, let's jump into it, Grammar Goodies. First, we're going to start with a basket breaker. All right. Followed by uh, some radioactive waste, where we'll go over five different words of the week. Then we'll go ahead and practice by asking for some employee assistance. And then we'll put everything to the test with an I'll check. But hold up, I know exactly why you came to this well Wednesday. You wanna know exactly who got the Grammar Goodie Sentence Shout Out of the Week. This goes to an individual that posted into our comment section on any of our social media platforms. So, stick around to the end to find out who won. Then, we check out for the evening. Oh, we're done. So, ooh, now that we got that into our brains, I think it's time we do a basket breaker. Uh-oh. For this week's Basket Breaker, the question is, what is your favorite court case and why? Which riveting court case gets you going, oh, the drama, the magnitude, the evidence, oh. Take a second and put it into the comment section. elaborate court case out there. It goes over the whole writing process and you can find it exclusively at www.mrgoodygrammar.com. Sign up and watch all 15 episodes. Whoa! Hopefully your case is just as intriguing, but my throat hurts. I'm getting quite parched. So I think it's time that we drink up some Radioactive waste. G -g 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 -g. Three, two, one. For this week's essential question, we have how can one properly use each word of the week? Hmm. How can we use each of the words of the week in a sentence? By the end of this lesson, you'll be able to do just that. So, word of the week review. What words are we going to be reviewing? Let me tell you. We'll be going over these five words. Justify, retort, incredulous, portray, and reiterate. These five words will be basically the five that we will master. We will use them in sentences. We will define them with precision. So, let's jump into it. The first word is justify. Justify is a verb that means to show or prove to be right or reasonable. In fact, it means to be a good reason for something. And some synonyms to go along with it are explain or account for. That's what we do. It can also mean rationalize, substantiate, and defend something. Much like when you give excuses, you have to justify your excuse. You have to defend it or explain it. Whoa! Let's go ahead and look at justify used in an example. Example. The defendant attempted to justify his actions, but the jury did not believe him. Aww. In this case, we have a defendant attempting to defend or explain his actions, attempting to justify them. 
but the jury did not believe him. So again, use those synonyms to help guide you when you are trying to use the word of the week words in sentences. So that's justify. Let's move on to the next one. The next word is retort. And retort is a verb that means to say something in answer to a remark or accusation, typically in a sharp, angry, or sometimes witty manner. It's responding to something going, don't think so. And some synonyms for the word retort are answer, reply, and respond. So once someone has said a comment, you retort to them. You give them a retort. Pretty cool, right? But uh, what? How do we use retort in a sentence? Let me show you. Example. The platypus retorted to my comment that it did not enjoy my attitude and sass. Oh, I want to get an attitude and sass if I want to get an attitude and sass, platypus. What? As you can see in this example, the platypus responded to my comment that it did not enjoy my attitude and sass. Ooh, well, here, retorted. As I told you before, use some synonyms to clearly define the word of the week words you wanna use. So, we use the word retorted to say responded in a certain way. Ooh. Okay, let's move on to the next example. The next word is, Incredulous. But what does incredulous mean? Well, incredulous is an adjective of a person or their manner. It basically means unwilling or unable to believe something. In fact, some synonyms for incredulous are disbelieving and doubtful. I believe that doubtful is the best synonym for incredulous. You don't believe in something. To give you a better idea of how you can use incredulous in a sentence, let's look at an example. He was incredulous when the cat surprisingly admitted to the crime. Whoa! So, he was doubtful when the cat surprisingly admitted to the crime. So, doubtful. He was in disbelief that the cat did the crime. What? So, we use incredulous in this case to show disbelief of something. Let's go on to the next word. The next word is portray. Portray. Portray is a verb that means to describe someone or something in a particular way. In fact, some synonyms for the word portray are represent characterize, and present. All of these basically go to describe something, which is exactly what portraying means. Let's look at an example. Example. The lawyer used horrific imagery to portray the defendant as a heartless monster. Here, we have the lawyer used horrific imagery to describe, to characterize the defendant as a heartless monster. So that's how we use portray. Think of portray much like the word portrait, which shows an image. That's exactly what portray is doing. It's describing something. It's giving you an image in your head. Let's move on to the next word. The next word is reiterate. Wait, the next word is reiterate. <laughs> You're probably asking, Mr. Goody Grammar, why did you say that twice? Well, reiterate is a verb that means to say something again or a number of times, typically for emphasis or clarity. Reiterate, again, to say something over and over again. 
It's to really punch that meaning or to clarify it for the audience. And some synonyms for reiterate are repeat and restate. Let's see how reiterate is used in a sentence. The judge had to reiterate to the audience that they needed to be silent during the court proceedings. Hmm. So if we look at this, the judge had to restate to the audience that they needed to be silent during the court proceedings. Sometimes the audience could get wild. So the judge had to state again for them to shh, shush it up. Pretty cool, right? All right. Well, with that in mind, I think it's time that we take a second and ask for some employee assistance. Ha! <laughs> oh, so much grammar. My head's gonna explode. I don't know what to do. I need help. We need some employee assistance. For this week's employee assistance, here's what you're going to do. I'm going to give you a sentence. Each sentence has a blank in it. What you will do is fill in the blank with the best option out of the two words that I give you. Again, fill in the blank with the best option out of the two words that I give you. Think you can do that? I know you can. And let's get to it. Question one. The journal blank Dino as a loud and aggressive individual. Again, the journal blank Dino as a loud and aggressive individual. Are we going to fill in the blank with portrayed or incredulous? Take a second. And think about it. Mm. The correct answer is portrayed. The journal portrayed Dino as a loud and aggressive individual. So described him as these things. So portrayed is the correct answer. Let's move on. Question two. The lawyer had to blank his statement so that the witness could hear. Again, the lawyer had to blank his statement so that the witness could hear. Are we filling in the blank with reiterate or justify? Take a second. Think about it. answer is reiterate. The lawyer had to reiterate or to say again his statement so that the witness could hear. So the lawyer had to repeat his statement so that the witness could hear it. So reiterate is the correct answer. Let's go on. Question three. He was blank that a bear could destroy a trailer with one swoop of its paw. So, are we filling in this blank with retort or incredulous? Take a second and think about it. Incredulous or doubtful that a bear could destroy a trailer with one swoop of its paw. Let's go on. Question four. He is an expert liar, 
but he can't blank his actions in this situation. Are we going to fill in the blank with retort or justify? Take a second, think about it. justify or explain or defend his actions in this situation. So the correct answer is justify. Whoa! How did you do grammar goodies? Did you get four out of four correct? I know you did. And without further ado, I think I need to put you to the test with an I'll check. For this week's I'll Check, here's what you're going to do. You're going to write an original paragraph that uses all five Word of the Week words in it. Post it into the comment section. Again, take all five Words of the Week and put them into one paragraph. And then do, 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 post it into the comment section. Again, the words are justify, retort, Reiterate, incredulous, and portray. So make a hilarious, 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 absolutely outstanding paragraph. That way you could hopefully get a grammar goodie scented shout out of the week later on. You have to participate. And without further ado, I think that we should start to oh, check out for the evening. I know you are very excited. Why? Oh, it's what you've been waiting for. It's time for the Grammar Goodie Scented Shoutout of the Week. The Grammar Goodie Scented Shoutout of the Week goes to an individual or individuals that participate in the comment section on any of our social media platforms, which include participating in Word of the Week videos and also ooh, Wednesdays. So, who did it go to? May I get a drum roll, please? sentence shout out of the week. Here's what I'll put. Mr. GG makes this too easy. My vocabulary ascent will show me ascended among kings and queens of England. Yes, indubitably so. We shall be sipping tea with the royal family. <laughs> anyway, Al, you are a king in your own right. A king at general grammar because this is an incredible sentence and use of the word ascent, and use of the word ascended. Great job. And if you would also like a Grammar Goodie Scented Shout Out of the Week, make sure to participate in the comments section on any of our videos. Woo! And as a quick reminder, you can basically get a Word of the Week every Sunday. Sip it up, it's delicious. Live sessions every Wednesday. What are those called again? Oh yeah, they're called Whoa! Wednesdays. Content episodes out regularly, sentence shoutouts which you can earn, and let me know what you want me to teach you. Put it into the comment section. I love hearing about different topics that we can explore together. Whoa! And follow us on all our social media sites including Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and our website, www.mrgoodygrammar.com, where you can sign up for exclusive content. <laughs> Whoa, grammar goodies. It's time for you to oh, go on your adventure. <sighs> anyway, my name is Mr. Goody Grammar. Thank you so much for dropping by General Grammar. And come in. Anytime. I'll see ya. Do 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 do.
do, 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 do. Dwool! What are you still doing here? Don't you know that the episode is over? What? Okay, okay, I get it. I mean, I, I know you love grammar. So why don't you hit like on this video? In fact, share it and do a little comment. But mainly, subscribe. Why haven't you subscribed yet? In fact, if you don't subscribe, you could be pulled into an interdimensional vortex. <gasps> so, make sure to subscribe. Remember, general grammar is tons of fun. What are you waiting for? Whoa! Click on another video. <laughs>